सो इन टू दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज अवर स्टेट चार्ट डायग्राम नाउ वॉट इज स्टेट चार्ट डायग्राम इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव सीन अबाउट activity diagrams okay now these uh, particular diagrams are coming under the behavioral view of our uml diagrams okay so this one is the last one of our behavioral view that is the state chart diagram before that we have seen the activity diagram and in activity diagram is also a type of this state chart diagram that is a special type of state chart diagram now what is the state chart diagram as we have already seen that behavioral view is going to show us about the dynamic behavior of our system that is the changing behavior of our system right now what is the state chart state chart diagram mainly shows us the uh, about the transition of the states of a particular system now used to model how the state of an object changes in its whole lifetime that means how the state states are going to change okay that thing is going to be shown by our particular state chart diagram since it's a behavioral and uh, coming under the behavioral view so always the uh, changing of the state that will show you the dynamic nature of of your system now next one how behavior and of an object changes across the several use case executions you can see here it's a particular state chart diagram okay now you can see when we will be studying about this one that how the mainly about the use case executions when it is going on these are particular use cases and how the executions are going on so the behavior of an object how it is changing that is going to be shown by this kind of diagrams how the behavior is going to change right now obviously since i have already told you that behavior is the thing which is going to change from time to time so it will be dynamic in nature now what is this particular Uh, diagram shows us from which uh, idea we are getting this one that is the finite state machine mechanism okay it is based on finite state machine that is we have already studied in our automata right now what is going to be shown by this it consists of finite number of states combining those of the object being modeled we are going to model a particular object at that object which we are going to model finite number of states are going to be constructed under it okay so it consists of finite number of states that is combining of those object of those of the object being modeled now object undergoes state change when specific events are occurring you can see here some specific events are occurring every time when the state is changing whenever a particular event is occurring okay at that time you will see the change of the state is happening so this transition of the state is being shown by your state chart diagram basically it is showing you the finite state it, it is the idea of finite state machine which we are taking in, uh, in constructing this uh, state chart diagram and what is this happening whenever a particular event is occurring okay for that particular event every time you are seeing the transition of its state that is the changes of the state is going on right now activity diagram is also a specific kind of scd that is our state chart diagram as we have already stud studied act activity diagram in our previous class that is also state chart diagram there also we have seen transition in different different activities those activities were also some state that is a special kind of a state chart diagram right that is also coming under our behavioral view so that is also uh, is dynamic in nature you can see in the uh, previous video of So activity diagram, right? Now, what is the disadvantage when we are talking about the finite state machine? There are some disadvantage which is going to be that is overcome by this state chart diagram. Then, what is that disadvantage? That is the number of states every time the number of states are going on increasing and increasing. That is number of state becomes too many and becomes complex for using in practical problems. Since we are using these kind of things in our practical problems but when your states are going on increasing they, these are in many numbers when there are many numbers you cannot use the, those particular things in your practical problems since your practical problem should be like in you when you are uh, talking about a practical problem you have to maintain the number of the states the number of the states when they are less obviously you can show it in a very abrupt manner or you can show it in a 
very easy manner but if your number of states are going on increasing and you have many and many number of states then obviously your particular system when you're going to describe a particular system it will be very difficult for you difficult task for you so in this case what we have to see we have to see that our number of states should be finite it should not be infinite it should be finite and a in a very uh, marginal state that is it should be very uh, less in number so disadvantage of finite state machine what is that number of states becomes too many and becomes complex so here this thing is being overcome by our uml state chart diagrams state chart what they do they manages that your number of states can be very uh, less in number so that you can easily describe your system in a very easy way right now actions what we are going to see in this particular state chart diagram there are some symbols again when we are talking about diagrams we have to see about some symbols we have to uh, show uh, these particular uh, diagrams with the help of some symbols obviously state chart diagram is also having some symbols you can see here but it, these symbols are very less in number in comparison to other things or other diagrams now what are these mainly we are talking uh, here we are talking about something that is the, uh, the particular things which we are going on here uh, we can see here that is our actions what are actions associated with transitions and are considered to be the processes that occur quickly and are not interruptible that is the occur these are occurring quickly okay these are associated what with transitions actions are associated with transitions whenever the transitions are happening so actions are quickly some actions are also happening but any they are non interruptible that is they cannot be interrupted any time this is the action which is happening when transition is going on state transition again some action is going on okay but they are uninterruptible you cannot interrupt them they will go on whenever whenever some uh, state change some transition is some action is going on right now activities they are occurring very quickly they are some considered to be some processes okay but when we are talking about these are our actions when we are talking about the activities what are those associated with states and can be interrupted by any event when we are talking about these activities they are associated with states and they can be interrupted okay these actions cannot be interrupted these are actions but when we are talking about activities they can be interrupted okay but actions can never be interrupted this is the difference between actions and activities now other symbols what are those first one is our initial symbol this is the showing the initial stage activity diagram also we have seen this one this initial stage and this final stage these are the things which uh, we have already seen and this is our state like this rectangle with rounded edges okay so this is our state how we are going to show the different different state the states okay so this is the symbol and the last one is the transition how the transition is going on this has been shown by this kind of arrows so this is uh, the main uh, particular uh, your symbols which are going to be shown by this uh, activity uh, state chart diagram right now let's see that order management system how these things are being concluded by a particular state chart diagram we know about how order management system is working now we have already seen in activity diagram also how it was going on now in case of state chart diagram how we will describe a particular order management system okay now let's start that one first one is our initial state the initial stage of our state chart diagram that is our first one first stage right now the transition is happening what from initial state to the next state next state, state is what this this is my first state that is idle nothing is happening here only some idle state is there that nothing is happening just your zero zero state now what is there initial state of the object since no order have been placed nothing is going on it is the idle state of the object so here this is our first state no transition is now taking place now we will start our different different transitions second what is happening sending order request now some state is changing what sending order order request whenever some state changes going on some actions will be taken 
this is the intermediate state that now something is happening here this is the initial state that is i will now something is happening that is i am sending my order request right so this is my state when i am sending the order request and what is the intermediate state the state is now intermediate state some work is going on whenever some work is going on some action will take place what is going on the action normal exit normal exit means order i have given, sent the order request now it is existing from the this particular state now what is happening again some transition is happening state transition from this state to this state select normal or special order now i have to see the, that whether my order is normal order or some special kind of order so this is again a next step that is selecting your normal order or your special order the order will be categorized whether it's a special order or a normal order so again we, we are seeing a transition of state is happening here right from sending my order request to next that is selecting normal or special order this is the transition of the state again what will happen some here some action have already gone going on that is the state change some action is happening state change is going on now what will happen confirm order that is an event in happening that is an event will occur this event is occurring that is confirm the order now i am confirming the order i have selected whether i have categorized whether it's a special order or it's a normal order now what when the person has selected that one now what is happening confirming the order the order is confirmed right now what is happening again order confirmation again a state change is happening what is state change order selection done order confirmation when the selection of the order had done some event is occurring state transition what is that order confirmation action transition action transition this is going on right now what is happening when order is confirmed now dispatching the order now i am dispatching my order some state change is happening now the whole transaction is complete it is coming to the final state so these are basically the actions which cannot be interrupted these all are some actions going on where this cannot be interrupted but here you can see one thing that is an activity here some failure thing is happening suppose say order or request uh, sorry say order request when i am sending the order request maybe it can have an abnormal exit that is failure maybe my when I, when we are uh, pros, giving some order request sometimes it happens that we have some failure some system failure or anything like that so that will be a abnormal exit from our state transition that thing is our activity which is giving a interrupt okay so here what is happening a failure is happening suddenly it is coming to the this is our final state this one is our final state so suddenly it is coming to the final state since it is a break in our system it is transition is going on the whole state chart diagram is running but in this case what is happening if suppose some failure occurs any kind of failure maybe a system failure maybe the order is not confirmed anything this kind of failure will but which is cause a abnormal exit and it will finally get to the final state right this can also happen so a state chart diagram basically will show you how the state transition is going on in case of action it cannot be interrupted but in case of activity it will be interrupted again let's see the definitions actions are associated with transitions and are considered to be processes that occur quickly and are not interruptible they are associated with transitions since these are the transitions which is going on so these cannot be interrupted these are the actions which are related with the transitions they cannot be interrupted but activities are associated with states and can be interrupted by an event since here some event is occurring okay also here you can see failure is an event so whenever an event can occur it can easily it is interruptible that means it is an activity right so here also an event is occurring but it is not interrupting this one so the particular transition is going on but here with the event is interrupting it so it is coming to the final state so this is the whole order management system which is being shown by a state chart diagram which is starting with the initial state 
and which is which is ending at our final step right in case of any kind of failure it will exit from have an abnormal exit and come to the final step so first of all the object is idle it is the initial state of the object next it will go to the intermediate state that is sending the order request if some ab failure is occurring then what is happening abnormal exit is done otherwise normal exit that is action which is coming to the select normal or special order again a transition now confirm order the event is occurring what order is confirmed next order confirmation your order is been dispatched now complete transaction when your order is dispatched that means your transaction is complete it is coming to the final state so this is the basically how we can make a state chart diagram you can make different different state chart diagram you can take a problem from your uh, book and you can see how you can develop a state chart diagram activity diagram different different diagrams so if you need any kind of uh, state chart diagram activity like anything you can just write to the comment section i will give you that one okay now we have seen the activity diagram and the state chart diagram the basic question which comes in your uh, examination that is what is the difference between these two kind of diagrams right here is a very small description of uh, differentiation of your state chart diagram and activity diagram let's see first of all what is activity diagram and what is state chart activity diagram is like flow chart that is flow of control from activity to activity we have seen in previous class what was happening we were having some activities we were that time also we have seen this order management system some activities were there so from one activity to another activity how the flow was going on it was like a flow chart diagram how the flow of control was going from one activity to another activity but state machine what this shows a state chart diagram showing flow of control from state to state here what is happening from state to state you can see the flow of control it is not going from activity since it is activity diagram from activity to activity here since a state chart diagram from state to state here the transition is going to be shown by the state chart diagram right may stand alone the activity diagram can be a stand alone one or may be used to model the flow of control for of an operation or you can make a model when you are going to make a model of an operation for flow of operation at that time also you can control of an operation also you can show that thing also by this kind of activity diagram so either it can be stand alone you can just show a particular uh, stand alone system with the help of this activity diagram or you can show the flow of control of an whole operation with the help of this activity diagram but in case of state chart diagram attached to classes use cases or entire system to show dynamic of an dynamics of an individual object this is mainly attached with some classes use cases or entire system you can attach with the whole entire system of an individual object okay it can be stand alone or it can be in a whole system but it can it is mainly attached with some system in case of this state chart diagram then so this is the whole topic of your uml in case of uml we have seen different different uh, diagrams different different views and this is the end of the uml class about the software engineering uml topic now from next topic we will start our new phase that is our coding phase and the coding phase i will show you with a break a small small topic okay so that you can understand very nicely and this is the whole thing if you want to ask any kind of uh, question or any queries you have regarding this whole uml or regarding this state chart diagram you can ask in the comment section and uh, if you want to know about any other topics related whatever we have done till now so that you can also ask me so in case of uh, these particular things we have to go to the next uh, phase that is our coding phase and if you have any uh, kinds of uh, suggestions or comments you can please write to the comment section i will be very happy to see that one and if you like my channel please like and subscribe so that we can study more new topics thank you and take care